Welcome back everyone to our gameplay series of Farming Simulator 17. So in our last video we finally got a chance to purchase our first cows and today we're going to do a whole lot more than that. We currently have, I believe it's 42 cows. It's been a long long enough time elapsed that we've actually had uh, one or two cows that have been uh, born since then. So they've been added to uh, our existing cows because I believe we purchased 40 of them all together so we plan on greatly expanding the number of cows we have now cows are very expensive but if you'll take a look in the top right hand corner you can see we have nine hundred and thirty eight thousand dollars which i plan on spending entirely on purchasing cows so we're going to have a whole lot more cows than we have now unfortunately not quite as many as i plan on having long term simply because they are so expensive to purchase but this will give us quite a few quite a few more than we have now and the animal husbandry will kick in a little bit quicker and uh, hopefully we can get going uh, in the direction or get closer to the direction I want to go uh, in the near future so what I've done here I haven't really done anything as far as gameplay other than let the game run for a couple of in-game days and as you know when you let the game run for a couple of in-game days especially when you're using course play a lot of things can happen we get to mow the grass of course convert that over to silage and then sell that silage which is exactly what we're on board doing right now what i've done is i've taken the uh, tractor and the tipper that were over at our newest field that works with the cows and i've actually got it loading up some of the silage from that silo and bring it over here to sell just because we were very quickly filling that thing up so i'm trying to keep it from being completely full now, again, my plan is to need all of that silage for the cows moving forward, but we're not quite ready just yet. Now, if we take a look in here at our map, you can see that we are ready to harvest on all four of our fields. So that's going to be the first thing we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get everybody fired up. There we go. Let's get this guy fired up. And let's see, he's already got courses loaded. I'm not sure... Those are the ones I want. They're probably from field 15, which was the last field that he would have worked. So let's go ahead and load up his courses. First waypoint. And let's try to get him going in the right direction. There we go. That should be good. Now everything has been fertilized, all four fields. And we can tell that by moving over to the soil composition. You can see that dark blue on all four of our fields so we're good to go there everything is looking great now one of the things we haven't really had an opportunity to do is uh, right now we are currently we only have one tractor for this area and that is one tractor for the water the tipper which it is now using as well as the fertilizer so I had to actually bring the the other fertilizer down here to this field absolutely made no difference whatsoever so that was a a non-issue uh, let's see before we get busy on this field our cleanliness on the animals i would imagine is probably pretty low in fact uh, yeah you can see there's quite a bit of grass over here and let's just take a look at what percentage that actually comes out to uh 29 percent yeah it's getting uh pretty low and you notice that our productivity is at 63 percent the maximum would be 70 when i get this taken care of it'll get a little bit closer to that um and all of our between grass silage and water all are looking really good we're keeping these close maxed out close to the six day maximum there but you notice there is grass in here what i've been doing uh, and again last couple of days in game time what i did was um, since i knew i was getting very uh, close to being full on our uh, silage silo i started taking the very last load of grass from when this guy is mowing the grass over here i started taking that very last load of uh, 50k and actually dumping it in over here for the cows or at least the amount of it that i could dump in and that has led us to get an extra roughly 20 percent onto that so that's where this grass come from of course we can't fit anywhere close to 50k in there right now but that's what i've been doing just to get the benefit of some increased productivity all right, let's go ahead and get this guy taken care of. Let's go ahead and lower the pickup. And then we're going to turn it on, make sure everything's on. Yeah, it looks like it's on. So I'm going to try to get, and again, I don't worry about keeping this at 100%. I just try to get in here 
and get it above 90 if at all possible. I'm trying to get as close to the edge, of course, with this big old tractor in there. It's kind of hard to do a whole lot. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it off. Let's take a look and see what we got. Okay, yeah, we got pretty much everything except for one more strip down through there. We'll go ahead and grab it as well while we are in the neighborhood before we get started with the long process of cutting this field. Now that it is ready to go. All right, let's get this thing lined up. Go ahead and turn the forge wagon back on. And this should take care of all of it or at least nearly all of what's remaining to be cleaned up. Okay, and I'll take care of that. Yeah, looks like we got all of that. So we'll give it a few minutes to update and that should take us to 100% or at least pretty close. Okay, now let's get this guy lined up and get him started on his, on his mission. All right, that, hold on, that's not gonna work because he's gonna hit that tree when he tries to... Okay, now we should have him clear to drop those mowers without hitting anything. Okay, now he's gonna decide that he's not quite close enough to the first the first waypoint, so he's going to go through the whole process again. And nope, he's going to do exactly what I thought he was going to do. I have no idea why he wants to do that. When I put start at the first waypoint, it's almost as if I mean start at the first waypoint. It's a weird thing, I know. But, all right, let's try this again. Let's try to get him actually lined up to where he has... All right, let's give him a shot again. Now, one of the reasons why he's gonna to try to go back over there, he was actually headed toward uh, the very end of the field. And yep, he is gonna to try to do it once again. Come on, guy, please do what I ask you to do. Because there is a small portion that's really about the length of, of the mower itself that he doesn't cut at the very end of the field and I stop him from doing that because I don't want him to have to go through the entire process. It takes a little while after he goes and empties and I don't want him to go through all of that every time just for that small little portion so I stop him when he gets over there as long as I'm in the area anyway and I'm actually able to see that he's there. All right, so that should get him loaded up and drive the course. Let's see if he wants to play ball with us this time or if he still wants to go over to the edge of the field. There we go, now he's okay. I just needed to reload. And that blinked out his history and everything seems to be perfectly fine now. All right, so while he's doing that, he's up and running. We've got uh, our tipper here, 21,000 uh, is our capacity here. So it doesn't quite get rid of uh, the grass or silage as quickly as I would like, but it's certainly a lot quicker than the 8,000 that we see over here. Looks like this guy is off and running just fine. Okay, good. Everything is where I would like for it to be. Let's actually hop out here for a moment. And let's head back up to this particular solid silo. So the other silo that is actually on the main farm itself uh, was completely empty. Okay, I, that's one of the things I have these guys do overnight in game time is I have them actually Oh, let's get out of this guy's way as he's coming back for another load. But I actually have them uh, go ahead and deal with, with that. So right now, we have no grass in here, which is exactly what we would expect. But if we look at how much silage we've got, even with this guy running basically non-stop, day and night at this point, we still have 436,000, almost 437,000 uh, liters of silage in there so you can see I mean it, it takes we're putting a lot of grass in here which means we're creating a lot of silage and it just takes a while to get it all out unless we get some upgraded equipment and start with a much higher capacity than what we currently have uh, to transport we would need something a lot closer to what he's pulling right there to do that so everything is looking great everything you know the mowers are going good 
let's actually head over and purchase some cows. I've been looking forward to this. I've always enjoyed working with uh, the cows, particularly in the farming sim games, because number one, they make a lot of money. It looks like he's got his first full load. So I've always just always enjoyed that. And no sooner than we get done, they got that little bit there. And I bet that little bit, so we're at 85%. We may have some at some of the other drop-offs over there. But again, not going to worry a whole lot about that. Okay, let's go ahead and open up that dialogue. So five grand per cow. And we're going to hit this button a lot of times because I can't really hold it down. I'm sure there's a mod that would allow me to do that. But we are going to purchase... We are going to purchase very nearly a million dollars worth of cows. And boy, that that gets you to thinking. When you realize that you're about to purchase very close to one million dollars worth of cows. And again, why are we doing this? Well, just because it's fun. <laughs> That's why. Not because I think the, uh, the return on the cows is better than the silage. It's not. All right, let's go ahead and let's see. Let's get it up as close to the amount of money we, as we have. That ought to do it, 979000 So you can see we're going to spend a little bit of extra money here uh, in this fee to transport, but that is perfectly fine with me. So 234 cows is what we'll have. So we purchased almost 200 cows, not quite. Let's go ahead and confirm that. And now the fun part is going to be seeing exactly what that does in here. Look at that that immediately says, hey, we, we need a lot more food in here. We need a lot more water. We need a whole lot more everything. So what we're gonna do is, where is this guy at? Yeah, here he comes. So he's coming back from dropping off. You can see the harvest income there. It looks like about 13,400 is what we got there. I'm gonna actually speed up time to 5X here just to let, uh, this is mostly, just for the grass to, to convert over to uh, silage. That's really what this is for. And then once this guy gets back over to the cow area, we'll have him go ahead and fill up with silage, but this time we'll actually take it over and, uh, and dump it in for the cows and get their food back up to maximum, or at least the silage part, not necessarily the grass part. We'll have to wait a little while for the grass part. All right, so this particular route was actually pretty funny when I did this one. Um, I didn't plan on using it very long as we just run right through that poor lady. I didn't plan on using it for very long. Um, and when I, I was trying to get it as straight as possible, but you can see right there, um, I definitely missed that mark. I took a quick look at the map and saw, okay, it's the third turnoff. Not realizing that little small one there in between, that didn't register with me. It turns out to be the fourth one. So that's why we have that extra little turn there. All right, let's let him go ahead and pull up and get loaded. And then we'll take over from there. I have not done a route just yet. There we go. Let's actually go ahead and have him stop that route for now. We'll put him back on it here before too long because, of course, we're going to be dumping a lot more grass into this silo. We're going to need to have something to do with it so that we don't get it completely full. Okay, so the tip side keeps, uh, on this trailer, keeps resetting to the left. I've, I've set it to the right, I've set it to the rear, and it just doesn't want to stick there for whatever reason. All right, so let's go ahead and unload right here, and then we'll see what this one load of 21,000 liters of silage does. Let's see what that does here. All right, now we're getting somewhere. I like it when I can dump an entire load of silage in there from the tipper and it's still not maxes out. That means we have got a lot more cows. And that is something I am very happy about. All right, so we'll do this again and make sure we've got plenty of silage, not just to last a day or two, but try to go ahead and max it out. Uh, for now, then we'll take a look and see where that puts us with the cows as far as the, the animal husbandry and so on. 
again, I really wish I didn't have this huge lip there, but but so far it has not caused any problems whatsoever. Um, all the problems that I've had with course play and doing this have been about of my own making. And that's always a great thing. Because if it's my fault, I can deal with that. Let's see how our grass mower is going. Okay, he's coming along quite nicely. I'm sure he's probably been over there a couple of times so far to, to dump that grass into the silo. So this is probably going to take us about four loads here. I like it. See where that gets us. Oh yeah, yeah. It, in fact, it may take us more than that because we have the ability to put a whole lot of silage in there. They eat quite a bit of it per day uh, as compared to grass. All right, looks like uh, yep. Yeah, looks like he's going to race us over here to the silo this time. We will win that battle. All right, we'll keep an eye out and um, we'll see just how much silage that it will take to fill it up completely full. But now one of the things I wanted to see was uh, you got the reproduction rate, which means we get a new cow in how many hours? Um, before, when we only had about 40 cows in here, it was a very long time. Uh, in fact, it was um, almost two full days, I believe, in game time. Now you can see we're down to about eight hours. Uh, and that is a huge difference. So we're going to get our next animal in a little over five hours. So that's going to help it grow. I, I want way more than 200 cows uh, by the time it's all said and done. But the good news is that the animal husbandry will take over and we'll actually be getting cows quite quickly uh, the more that we end up purchasing and eventually we won't even have to worry about purchasing anymore to get to our goal. Right, looks like these cows are already back to making a mess and pushing all of their feet out. It looks like I pulled up right next to <laughs> right next to the concrete pillar which is going to shove our tractor and trailer out of the way all right where are we up to now oh yeah we're at almost a hundred thousand and we are still nowhere near where we need to be now so that brings me up to discussion all right so where do we want to go from here once we get the cows up and running and I can tell you I'm going to uh, before we do our next video one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this thing run for a couple more days and we'll make several hundred thousand more dollars and I will purchase even more cows. So we'll, we'll talk about doing that as well. Make sure I don't miss the, the output. Yeah, there we go. Then where do we go from here? So it's not just all about cows. That's not the end all be all for us. Uh, although, as I mentioned, I am, I have a lot of fun with the cows in this, in this series. But what I've thought about doing next is I have decided I really like field number 26. And we'll take a look at it on the map here in just a moment once we get once we get the unload started here. Let's go ahead and try to stay away from the, the concrete piers this time. All right, so let's go ahead and pull up our map. Here we go. So field 26 is right here. So you can see it's fairly near where we currently are and of course we pass it every time we go down the main highway and the reason I like this one is I think this is going to be a good place for us to start really working with probably a rotation of wheat maybe some barley and uh, maybe some canola and just sort of rotate some of those do wheat for a little while and then do uh, canola for a little while that kind of thing do a little crop rotation and another reason why I really like this, other than the fact that it's a, a very large field, uh, over five acres, I believe. Uh, we'll take a look at that here in just a moment, but I believe that's right. And so it's right here next to the bakery, which means that whenever I set up the route for the tipper to unload um, our, 
or combine that I can have it simply run right over to the bakery, sell that, and we never have to really worry about putting anything in the silo. I can have it just run straight over there. Now again, that's not going to maximize our profit because our prices here on the various things aren't always going to be the best price at the bakery, but it's so it's so close by that it almost seems bad not to do that because again, I'm trying to keep things uh, simple. All right, looks like this guy is done. Let's go ahead and get him loaded up for field 14. I got the right two. I guess we'll find out if, here in just a second if I didn't. So now you can see it running five times speed. Uh, we are getting uh, a little bit quicker conversion of the grass over to silage, which means that we are then able to get it sold and keep our money flowing. Not quite as as quickly as if we were using you know 30 or 60 times speed but still a little bit quicker nonetheless. Let's get our fertilizer guy up and running. Get him over here on field 12 and let him get going. All right, somewhere in this area ought to be good. And yeah, he's getting all the way to the edge there. Okay, everybody's all set. Looks like this guy is also all ready to go. I'm going to get out of his way as we move back toward the silage silo. And again, if I catch him right at the end of the field, then I will try to get that last load of 50,000 of grass and actually put it in uh, in with the cows up there so that we can keep that higher percentage of income. But if I happen to miss that, that's no problem either. Because we are definitely not short on income right now. And that's only going to get better. Alright, so field 26. Once we get up here and we get to get this thing started unloading that'll take a minute once we get that started we'll actually take a look and see how big the field is and how much it's going to cost us money's not a huge issue for us because we make several hundred thousand per day just off the silage all right let's go ahead and pull up this so we got field 26 here is yeah 5.1 and the price 413 basically 414,000 okay so not bad and this time I'll actually be purchasing the field rather than uh, leasing it just so we won't have to worry about the end of the lease and, and what happens then anything like that that won't even be an issue let's take a quick glance and see where we are on filling it up all right so we're wow we are just just about halfway, roughly. So we'll do we'll do a few more of these loads, and then we will let this guy get back to making us some money by selling this silage. Looks like we were down to about three hundred and I think sixty thousand as I drove by, but we got a lot of grass over there that hasn't converted over to silage yet. So again, just trying to keep my eye out for how much silage I'm going to need uh, to keep up that that roughly 50% uh, effectiveness. Looks like I didn't pull up quite far enough. Looks like our our mower is almost halfway, almost halfway through that field. 
I'm actually going to take a glimpse here and see where we are on grass. And is that 95,000? It is 95,000. My eyes are doing pretty good today. We're going to make our jump up onto the ramp. And then, yeah, 340 left. Okay, so we got plenty of silage left. So I can let this guy turn him loose and he can go back to selling it. But before that, I also need to, we got to work on the water too. We got to refill the water, make sure we get it maxed out. Uh, luckily, that will take practically no time. Should be about far enough. There we go. Yep, we're getting there now. Now we're getting where we want to be. We've now got enough silage for several days. So that will leave us with the reality that we can let this go for now. We can let it go multiple days without having to really deal with it. With any part of, of the cows other than just mowing the grass and filling up the silos or selling it as the case may be. So this purchase of Field 26 is going to be a big one for us. And the reason it's going to be a big one is because it's going to be our first purchase of a field that we're going to be doing something other than grass on, which means that we are going to have to purchase a lot of equipment. So we're going to need a combine, have to figure out which combine we want to get. I've got an idea on that. Uh, then of course, we'll have to get a header for it. Uh, maybe more than one, if, depending on how many different crops that we decide to do on the field. And then, of course, we'll need another, in all likelihood, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get another tractor and tipper combination. We could probably get by with using just the one that we've got here, but I would rather have more than one around just for the ease of use. So we don't have to worry about lining everything up perfectly with the timing or doing everything separately. I prefer to do it all at the same time if I can get by with it, as long as the money is willing. Also reminds me that it's time for me to go looking through the mods again. I absolutely love the mods with this game. Let's get out of this guy's way so we don't run us over. We would definitely lose that battle. Yeah, so many wonderful mods. In fact, uh, one of you guys had pointed out that there's mods that you can use that will help with the cows and uh, mixing up the feed for you and, and so we can get a higher percentage and stuff and and that's always a possibility I haven't done that yet because well mainly because we don't have all the ingredients just yet but but that is in the back of my mind something that we might do uh, in the future also there are who knows what we might find that can actually help out with the quality of life All right, let's see. Yeah, that is, that's nearly done. Now we need to actually, let's come back in here. Yeah, our water is almost done. The grass we'll take care of. But you can see we've got place for probably somewhere around 250,000 there or thereabouts. So that gives me an idea. And of course that lasts six full days. I'm actually gonna pull in the other direction now. Unhook that. Come over here to our water tank. 
Let's see how good of a job I can do backing up with a terrible cam camera angle. Alright, I'll take it. It let me attach it. That's good enough for me. So we've got almost 4,000 in the tank right now. Let's see how close that gets us to, to completely full. So, as you can probably see, we've got a little room right over in this area, right over here. And there's a few things that I'm thinking about there. There is a hay barn you can put over there, or hay loft, I guess is what they call it in game, uh, that we could put there. Oh yeah, we're going to need a lot more water. That we could put there. I mean, there's also uh, some other silos that we could try to put there. But yes, I definitely plan on putting that area to use if, and it's not exactly a level area, so we'll have to see how all that works out. But that's one of the few areas that we actually have where we could put something. But I'll have to look around a little bit more in this area and just try to see if there's some nice flatter type areas that we might be able to take advantage of. There's not a whole lot of room that I've seen on this map. Uh, they, they fill it up quite nicely. And, okay, that was me just forgetting where I was going. I was headed back to dump off some silage, forgetting the fact that um, we have a water tank. So that was, what was that, 7,000? Liter capacity on that. Let's see where, oh yeah, we're going to need quite a bit more than that. I like it. So we should see the money we make from milk. Uh, that should skyrocket at this point. Going from about 40 cows to almost 240 cows. Yeah, that should be quite an increase. Luckily for us, the game doesn't try to visually represent 200 plus cows or even more than that. Because that would probably bring our computer to its knees. It also looked quite funny when you look over into the pasture. Yeah, so this is the relaxing part of the game where, I mean, you're just taking care of normal daily type chores and that's really where I think the beauty of the game lies and that's why I use a lot of quality of life type mods. I'm not looking to make things as difficult as possible. It's where you can just relax, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the cows and the sounds they make, some of the sounds they make anyway. and just enjoy the escape from reality for a little bit. I'll take as much of that as I can get right now. All right, let's see where this gets us. All right, so we're running a little bit low on time, but we did get done what I really wanted to get done today, which was we talked a little bit about uh, our next purchase which is at field 26. Of course, we're going to need a lot of money because we're going to need a lot of equipment to go with that, some expensive equipment to go with that. Uh, and, of course, we bought a whole lot of cows. A lot of cows. And then, of course, uh, in the distant future, once we get as many cows as I'm planning on getting, then as the animal husbandry takes over and we start to get new births, of cows uh, each day several times a day in fact then we'll be able to sell cows and supplement our milk income 
with the sale of even more cows. And so that's really where this game allows you to really start building on your income and really start to multiply your income. The silage by itself is giving us quite a bit and it's given us quite a bit of freedom to do a lot of purchasing. I mean, even though, in fact, if we come back in to our finances, you can see here the harvest income, which would include our silage. And at this point, that's all we really have that we're doing. But you can see here, I mean, 675,000 in one day, 262, 404. And if you're wondering why there's a difference there like that, uh, all of that really just depends on uh, how much time I spend fast forwarding the game, you know, using the 30, 60, or 120 times speed. Because for me, I don't really look at the game in terms of of per day so much, or at least not on the grass anyway. I, t I tend to look at it more over the course of longer periods of time. So I don't worry so much about fast forwarding through through the nighttime or you know things like that. So that's why some days we don't have all that much income. It may be just because I spend a lot of time fast forwarding that day. Ooh, slow down. All right. Also, I got to pay back that loan. Whenever I decide I'd rather spare 300000 for that than purchasing some more animals. So we're now down to about three and a half hours until our next one. So we're getting, wow, very, very nice. About three a day at this point. A little bit, that's actually a little bit better than I thought we would be at this rate because cows reproduce pretty slowly. Uh, you can get into some other things like pigs, I think, are notorious for, uh, for reproducing very quickly. So we'll look at, at doing that uh, in the future. But again, next thing I am really interested in is getting on to field 26 and getting a combine going and, and raising some different crops there and trying to expand our income from that. So I think we're going to leave it here for now. Thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned for more as we continue our gameplay series of Farming Simulator 17.